What is going on, JW Faction? My name is Joshua Williamson. This is the Stuff I Hate Episode 4. So let's let's get on to these five things that I hate. Um, first one, when people think that animation is strictly for children. My, my parents are a prime example for this. Um, you know, if, if they hear... If, if they only hear like stuff like the A word and the D word in, in PG-13 movies, they're fine with it, okay? But when they hear it in some sort of animation, any sort of anime or a cartoon, they will act like it is the end of the world. I, I have no idea why. They, they grew up thinking that animation is strictly for children. That makes me sick. Um, if animation is for children, then how come the greatest animated series of all time is not... Is not an, is not a children's cartoon. It's The Simpsons. It's the, mo it's the most popular animated series ever, but um, it's not for kids. So that proves to you that animation is not just for children. There's animation that can be for adults too. I hate that so much. Um, next one. Oh my God. I, I hate when people say that you can't make a career out of video games. If people can't make a career out of video games, how come there's there's stuff that you could do in college like video game journalism, um, video game design, stuff like that. How come there's Twitch streamers that make a living off of, off of streaming Twitch? And how come there's YouTube Let's Play channels that make a living off of that? Like PewDiePie making se like around some millions of dollars around in 2016, 2015 alone, somewhere, somewhere around that. Um, there's some very rich YouTube Let's Players out there, and um, that pretty much proves to you that you can make a career out of video games. So stop looking at video games as a pointless and dead end hobby. Um, <clears throat> next one. This one is probably this next one is probably the most irritating one on this list for me. When people say that there is someone out there for everyone, has it ever come to you that? Some people are just better off living alone. You know, the pe people people always people always tell me, um, you know, the for, the reason why some people tell me that is, oh my God, they're just being nice. They're not being nice to me because I I don't like being with someone. I like being alone. I d I don't want to be in another relationship since 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 my already failed relationship. There's not someone out there for everyone. It is proven. Because it, a, a study shows that 10 people die alone every day in Tokyo. I don't want to hear these comments saying, Oh, that's only in a different country. That's, that, that's, that's not the point, okay? That still proves to you that there's not someone out there for everyone. So that different country thing is not, is not an excuse for what I'm trying to explain to you. Um... Next one, sleeping with clothes on. Um, I'm gonna be real with you guys. This might this might sound like a little too much information for me, but I do not sleep with clothes on. I can't do it, and I I don't think there's a problem with revealing it, because, but it's it's, it's I can't I can't sleep with clothes on. I'm I'm gonna explain to you why. If I put a shirt on and I try to sleep, the shirt will either roll or roll up on my stomach, or or it'll just make me sweat. You know, you know, I already already sweat a little bit while I sleep, and it's so uncomfortable. But it's even it's even worse when you're wearing clothes on. And another example, when when you're wearing pads, they they can also roll up on your leg to where to where they, they'll be, you know, you know, trying to try, trying to give you like a wedgie or something. The only the only article I can, of clothing I can sleep with is underwear. That's the only article of clothing I can sleep with. So that that's pr those two reasons are pretty much reasons why I cannot sleep with clothes on. It's it's the most uncomfortable feeling ever. Um. Anyways, um, this last one, okay? How paranoid and depressing the elderly can be. I I don't know why. I look. I under, before I explain this, I understand. That um, old people they they they're pretty much closer to the time that they die, and um, I I understand that um, you know they have to you know be more careful with what they do, but 
Gosh dang! Why do they only have to talk to, to someone about people dying and people being sick with cancer and all that stuff? That's all they ever talk about! They also drive incredibly slow on the road. Like, you, every time you see them driving, they're pretty much going like 25 miles at a 55 mile speed limit. You know, they, they, uh, every time I see a slow driver in front of me, I automatically assume that's like an 80 year old or something. They will not focus on the positive things in life anymore. My, my, gra my grandparents, they all, all they ever talk about is how sick someone is or how someone died. You know, that's pretty much the reason why I, I've, al I've always grown up being m more, a more of a negative person, which I'm not trying to be right now. Uh, you know, the reason why I'm in therapy, and. Um, the reason why I already have a mild dep I'm already um, tested for a mild depression. Why do they only have to talk about death? Why do they only have to talk about people dying and people being sick, sick with a life-threatening illness? I don't understand why they will not talk about anything positive. I don't understand that. Anyways, that's been episode 4 of the stuff I hate. Post comments down below, let me know what your opinion is on this. If you like this video, thumb it up. If you hate this video, thumb it down. Make sure to click the sub subscribe button if you want to, and become a member of the JW Faction. And if, if follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. And until next time, I'll see you for another video.